There you go, folks. That's your weather update. So I hope that you plan accordingly and wishing you a fantabulous day. Happy Duvali to everybody. I know there are some people in the chat asking about where is Renata. Renata is taking a day off. However, Miriam is here joining me today, which is, as I said, you know, you're right fit. You're a fit person to have this Duvali special with. Yes, I believe yep. so. The, uh, the universe has aligned for me to definitely, be here. Definitely, definitely. So. Guess who shows up on the valley to sun up on seven? Commissioner of Police Chester Williams. How are you, Kampo? Good morning. Good morning, and thanks. And how are you feeling today? I believe I'm okay. I'm feeling quite well. Yes. What's that's what's what are you, what is your feedback about our setup that we have? On the... I started dance earlier, but the dance never looked like Indian dance to me. Okay. But I don't know that's just the part, right? Yes, that, that's true. I mean, you were recently in India, so maybe you learned some steps that you might want to teach me. No, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 no. The only steps I learned is a walk. Oh, <laughs> that's what I hear you. I hear you. But Commissioner, it's a, it's a pleasure that you're joining us today on Monday. I mean, yeah. like I said, we, you went to India. We're seeing some photos about you. Yes. Um, we want to hear about your trip. You know, what was what was the mission? And of course, um, people are already planning for Diwali from a couple of weeks leading to today. So yes. we would love to hear. You know, what were your thoughts about it? And, and what was your experience yeah. while you were there? Well, um, I left for India last week, Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, contrary to what the UDP megalomaniacs are saying, I went to attend the 98th Interpol General Assembly. Okay. Um, that was held in New Delhi, India. The conference started on Tuesday. But you know, from here to India, it's a very long way. And so there were two days of traveling going. And the conference began on Tuesday. The opening was done by the Prime Minister of India. Okay. And from there, we got on to the business of the session. Um, basically, it's a session where annually, the different Interpol member states, which is 195 of us, um, would gather and uh, discuss matters relating to international policing. Um, how can we enhance policing across the globe? The important thing there is to network and collaborate. Oftentimes, you would know that we would have fugitives from Belize who are wanted around the world, and likewise, fugitives in Belize who are wanted, who are wanted by um, other countries. Right. And so, each of the countries have what is called an NCB. The NCB is the local Interpol network within the country, and uh, for us, Interpol is done by police. In some countries, Interpol is a separate department than the police. Mm. But for us, it is um, police who does Interpol. And so the Interpol or the NCBs within the different countries are the ones who normally coordinate with each other. Um, each of the, the, the member states have what is called an Interpol portal. And within that portal, is, it has all the different notices that Interpol would issue as it relates to persons who are wanted vehicle theft, etc. Um, we have, like, for example, the red notice, the purple notice, and these sort of um, things. And uh, what we did at the assembly was to look at the current trend mm -hmm. in crime across the world. Um, yes, times have changed, and we're seeing a new phenomenon in crime. It is not unique to only Belize, but basically across the world. But the, 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 the conference was focused more on cyber crime and uh, child exploitation. Mm -hmm. Those two were the main focus of the, um, okay. of the conference. Wow. Um, like what the president said, the president of Interpol, that um, child exploitation is dear to him. And uh, I think that all of us at the conference share that view, mm -hmm. that we cannot live in a world where our children are being exploited. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're finding that the internet is mm -hmm. one of the main means by which yes. children are being exploited. In, in one presentation, they were saying that children as young as 10 months are being exploited. Wow. And so it is important for the different police departments across the world to ensure that we have a system in place to be able to combat um, these type of acts. And there were many presentations done um, dealing with the whole issue of child exploitation, if a matter of fact, a resolution, resolution was also passed to address the issue. And so we're hoping that next year, um, assembly, there'll be more um, 
resolutions, and perhaps even getting articles um, to be able to address exploitation. Now, one of the things that many of the countries are dealing with is the fact that our local legislation is not strong enough to be able to deal with the whole issue of exploitation okay. of children or the, even cybercrime in a whole. Um, so what we propose is that Interpol will develop a policy and uh, will seek to lobby member states to pass stronger laws um, to be able to address these type of crimes. Okay. Um, so that's something we can expect in the yes. to happen. One of the things that we, 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 we found during the, the, the whole session was that let's look at, for example, Facebook or Instagram. If someone were to post something about you that is not true, mm -hmm. or if a child is exploited on social media, the, 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 the bureaucracy of getting the information you need from Facebook is extremely tough. And in some cases, you would get it long after, when in fact, if you had received it early, you could prevent certain things. So we're looking at ways by which we can cut the bureaucracy. And once the local, the, the, the countries would pass local laws to address these issues, then Facebook is going to comply. Currently, Facebook operates based on the domestic laws of the country. They cannot go outside of that. Mm. And so we need to see how we can change our laws within to be able to facilitate Facebook giving us inform information okay. in a more quicker it's, manner. It's, it's so good that you have the opportunity to attend yes. such yes. conferences because you go there and you're able to, you know, to learn, but also like pick some things that you feel is missing here that, you know, as, as you're talking about uh, right. child exploitation and cybercrime, it makes things better, right? It, it yeah. gives you the opportunity for you to be able to address exactly. the situations. And it so, can be implemented mm -hmm. here in Belize. I think especially we need that. I mean, and like you said, that's just a huge concern for everybody, yeah. children yeah. overall, yeah. Like keeping yeah. them safe. And I know that was the business part of your trip, your trip, but we are celebrating Diwali. So I wanted to ask you just like, how was your trip as far as the sights, the smells, oh. the celebrations in India? Did you see them preparing for this festival? And if so, what did you see? You know, um, or experience? <laughs> My experience in India wasn't too good, I must say. Okay. Um, except for the day before I left. Basically, for my arrival in India on Tuesday, I have not eat a plate of food. I was living on fruits. Okay. Basically, morning, afternoon, and evening. I, I is that just due to scheduling? Or? No, the, the food um, is just too spicy for me. I just couldn't eat the food. Um, but you could have, I mean, asked for less spice. That's what I do. Uh, I said, many no. less spice. No, I just couldn't <laughs> just eat tell the food. Them and, um, very, less. very less. Other than that, sleeping was an issue. When it is day here, it, was it is night, night there. there and so to adjust. even after That's true. <laughs> conference would be over for the day, mm -hmm. and I would retire to my hotel room mm -hmm. um, in the late evening, mm -hmm. I still have to deal with issues from Belize. Right. Because it's day here. Exactly. And then... I have my mother in hospital, okay. and so I have to be getting updates from my sisters okay. um, in respect to uh -huh. my mother's condition and, okay. and uh, even at work. Mm -hmm. I have issues with work as well. Um, Mr. Jones, who was acting in my absence, mm -hmm. would normally notify me if there's something um, major occurring that I need to know. Mm -hmm. And so, like, getting sleep was next to none. Okay. I would say, like, two, three hours the most within a 24 hours period wow. um, sleep I got. And... Every evening, they had um, some activity. The first evening, they had the welcome banquet, which was hosted by the Prime Minister of India. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go to none of the events. Um, every night, they have events. I, I didn't attend none of the events. I just go to conference, and after conference, I go to my hotel, and I um, spend the and, time and, there. And saying this is because of the, of the sleeping pattern change, no? Um, not really, not but really. basically because I have issues to deal with. And, my roaming was not working. Oh. So once I left the hotel, I would not have internet service mm. or service to be, for them to be able to contact me. And I want okay. to make sure that I was always available should, I, in the I event that you. something occurred, yes. that yeah. um, I am yeah. reachable. And so based on I didn't go. No, the, the, the Saturday before we left, um, the Indian government um, sponsored a trip for us to go to... Um, Thai, Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Uh -huh. 
And I almost didn't go, but I said, you know, I'm in India. <laughs> right. Why Stop not? I, I have heard of the place before. I've never seen it. Wonderful. And so that was the only outing I had. Um, and that was the day before we left, because what, we went in the morning. What did you about your Taj Mahal? It's, it's a very impressive site. Um, okay. That entire white building, that one there, yes. that is built from marbles. In every square inch of that building is marble. And that is only one portion of it. There are other buildings yes. um, within the, the site. It's a, it's a very, very, very beautiful site. I, I, did, I do not regret going um, on I'm, that I'm trip. I'm glad to hear that, and yes. I, I, I saw that the, um, the UDP put out on social media that I was vacationing, fully sponsored by taxpayers. Um, let me say that not a penny mm. of my trip was sponsored by the Belize government. Not a penny. But again, um, these delusional people who just cannot get their own house in order wants to be able yeah, to... So they, they might want to, like, you know, put the, put the spotlight elsewhere. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you they, know what's, they, what's really cool about that? It's so, just... Come, it, come. They're just, they're just annoying. Um, I guess they have nothing better to do. That's, that's what I'm saying. You know, and, they want to yeah. put the spotlight elsewhere yeah. when they cannot focus yeah. on what's going internally. Thankfully, they don't even know what you're going through. You, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I, I, I personally... If I didn't have to go, I would not have gone. I, I left this country with my mother in the hospital. Um, I had a woman police who was also critically ill. I visited both of them before I left. I did not want to go. But as the commissioner of police, as a part of my duties and my functions, mm -hmm. there are certain international um, functions that I must attend. And... Uh, that's the reason why I went. And so for them to, to have spewed the nonsense that they did, it's totally out of order. And I have put the matter with them in the hands of an attorney because I'm sick and tired of them spewing um, untrue statement about me, oh, wow. which with a view to try and defame my character. It, it cannot, I cannot continue to allow them to do that now. Hmm. And that's definitely understandable, I mean, because you were on a work trip and then you had personal, not only, you know, personal obligations and responsibilities yeah. to handle. And while you were there, on, it was a professional trip. India is such a huge country. I mean, it is millions and millions of people. And the police there, what did you learn being a, you know, representative for Belize as a police officer? What did you learn from the police there on how they police such a large population and maybe could be implemented here? In I, I, the area where, where, where it was, um, I can tell you every turn or turn to see police. <laughs> police like sun, I, I don't know, but... Police like sun? Yeah, there were so many police. I, I felt extremely safe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right? Yes. Um, That's good. Yes. <laughs> Any way you turn, there were police. And um, I also had my own security detail. Okay. So um, I was not basically left alone. I had a driver and uh, a security um, who moved with me anywhere I go okay. um, to ensure um, my personal safety. But the conference itself, the venue was in a very secured area. Every time you go in, you come out, you're scanned to make sure that um, you're not carrying any kind of weapons. And okay. I, I think that was um, extremely well, you know, so it was well planned. And I think the government of India did an exceedingly good job in coordinating the entire um, program. Next year, it will be held in Vienna, Austria. Okay. So um, we're going to see how that one goes. Yeah. yeah. So start preparing for that, that exactly. next trip. It's going to be very, very interesting. Yeah. What people don't understand is that when, when you take these trips, if you are a responsible person, it takes more out of you when you're there than when you're here. Because when you're, when you're out, you have to be concerned about what you're doing there mm -hmm. and still concerned about what is happening what home. What is happening here. Right? Yes. Now, if you're the type of person that don't give a damn, then you, you just don't care. You just go and enjoy yourself out there and forget about mm -hmm. um, yeah. home. But I, I am not that type of person. And so right. I was pretty much concerned about what is happening home and as well as making sure that I represent my country well yep. um, where I was. Exactly. And that is what people don't understand. They think that when you go away, you go on vacation. It's no. not of vacation. Course, of course. It yeah. takes far more yeah. from you than when you're here. You know, Definitely. So, right. But all in all, I think it was a good trip. One of the interesting things that happened during the, um, the conference was a resolution proposed by, by Ukraine. Mm. Um, what happened under the current Interpol structure there is no provisions for a member state to be expelled or suspended from Interpol. So Ukraine proposed a resolution for Interpol to adopt a mechanism by which they can suspend or 
expel member state. That resolution passed, um, so it now goes to the governing body. So hopefully next year, we're going to vote and make that a part of Interpol's art article. But I can see where Ukraine is going there. They're going after Russia. Right. <laughs> right? So once that resolution is, that becomes an, um, an article next year, then I am sure that they're going to propose a resolution to expel Russia out of Interpol. Okay. So huh. that's, that's, that, a very that's going to be an interesting, interesting yeah. move there. So let's, um, let's, let's yeah. see how that turns yeah. out. Definitely yeah. an interesting move. And it just yeah. seems like overall, Despite your personal obligations and responsibilities, you do, did represent Belize well. Thank yes. you for but, doing that. Yes, yes. thank you and, for and doing for, that. We it's always a pleasure. Out there and check out the Taj Mahal. I have, yeah, not, I have not been Taj lucky Mahal. to do that. Have you been there? Yes, I have been to ah, the Taj you're Mahal. So, you're so blessed. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, so. yes it is very beautiful. Y'all yes. yes. shared yeah. that in common now. Yes. yes. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. It's a very beautiful Thank you so much for joining us today on our Valley special to share more about your India trip, the conference, and of course, what you did there. Maybe, who knows, next time when you go back to India, we'll be able go to Go back, the boy? Way. That's a long trip, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't see myself going back at all. As much as I love the place, uh -huh. other than the food, um, I don't see myself going oh, back. The, Not in a long way. journey. This though. is a very long... From, 15 hours, yeah? From um, New York to India, it's a 16 hours flight. 16 hours flight, Non-stop. Yeah. So 16 yeah. hours up there. That's no joke. I, right? I, have, I haven't had such long flight, but I can yes. imagine the, just, just the toll it takes on you to, to exactly. yeah. you're traveling. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much for being yes, here. We wish you. you all the best. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. So, yes, take care. So mm -hmm. now we're going to go on a commercial break. When we're back, it's time for us to learn some yes. dancing some dance moves. moves. Make sure the dance about. are correct this time, though. I will, I will. <laughs> yes, you will learn I'll, some dance moves. I'll warm up. So before we go into a commercial break, we have a sunrise to share mm -hmm. with you. So who do we have the sunrise from? Who do we have the sunrise from this morning? From the Compo uh, strip. Oh, okay. There lovely. it goes. So it's from the Compo uh -huh. strip. Compo. Wow. Wow. Okay. That is amazing. Yeah. That, that is beautiful. It's a beautiful picture, yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you.